Hello everyone, this is Ram Prasad Venugopal from Informatica GCS team. In this video KB, we'll see about the overview of MDM integration with Data as a Service. Agenda for today's video KB is, we'll see about introduction, prerequisites for configuring this DAS service, visual file for a DAS service, transformations, SOAP services, DAS providers, DAS provider component, reference, followed by a demo. Introduction You can enrich and augment your business data with the data from third-party data providers. You can integrate with data as a service providers to access data that is reliable, accurate and complete. You can request a DAS provider for relevant business entity information such as revenues, parent-child or corporate linkages, detailed company profiles and dense numbers. You can use the data from the DAS providers to create and update business entity records. You can enable or disable the access to DAS providers. You can configure access to DAS services based on the user roles and the operations that a user performs. For example, you might enable a service only when a user creates a record. You can specify the business entities that you want to enrich with the DAS data. You can select the business entity fields that you want to populate with the data from the DAS provider. You can request data from the DAS provider compare the results and select the records that you want to convert and merge into the business entity record. To integrate with the DAS service, you must first register the DAS provider. In the provisioning tool, you must create the required configurations, create a DAS component and add the component to a data director record view layout. When you open the record view for a business entity record, the DAS provider appears in the DAS panel. Prerequisites Installed MTM application with access to provisioning tool. DAS Vistal file. Vistal file for a DAS service. The DAS services are web services that supports the simple object access protocol for the request and response from client application. To use a DAS service, you must upload the Vistal services description language file for the service. A Vistal file describes a web service. A Vistal file contains the following information. XML descriptions of the available web services, location of the web service, methods that the services use, parameters that the services takes, formats of the SOAP requests and responses. Transformations When you integrate with a DAS provider for data enrichment, you must match some of the business entity record information you have with the information from the DAS provider. Send a request to the DAS web service with some minimum required information about a business entity. Based on the information, the DAS provider sends a response that you can use to enrich the business entity data. Use the SOAP protocol for requests and responses. The request to and the response from the DAS service is XML structure. A business entity service accepts some business entity data as input and map it to the fields in an XML document. The service calls the DAS web service with this information and receives the response in the form of XML document. The service converts the XML document to the business entity fields and saves the information as business entity data. You must configure transformation and map the business entity fields to the XML request fields and the XML response fields to the business entity fields. Configure the following transformations for DAS. Business entity to XML. Mapping required to send a request to a DAS service. XML to business entity. Mapping required to read and convert a response from a DAS service. SOAP services. The data enrichment DAS services are a suite of web service that supports a SOAP protocol. You must integrate with a DAS service and make a SOAP calls to access the information to enrich your business entity data. You must register the external SOAP services. If a service requires authentication information for calls, provide the information in the SOAP header when you configure the SOAP service. What are DAS providers? Communication with the DAS provider is through SOAP request and response. Send a request to the DAS provider with the minimum required information about a business entity. The DAS provider responds with information that you can use to expand the business entity view and enrich the business entity data. You must configure a DAS provider as an extension in the provisioning tool. A DAS provider configuration combines a web service call with business entity to XML format and XML format to business entity transformations. You must specify the metadata. 
such as required fields and the type of service such as read or search. For example, if you specify the name of the organization, the DAS service searches for the name and returns a list of records with matching names. If you specify a unique value such as DUNS number, the DAS provider performs a direct match and returns the details of the organization. You can configure multiple DAS providers. Note, every DAS provider must have at least one required field. Specify the required fields when you configure a DAS provider. Communication with the DAS service is through the DAS component that you add to a record view layout. DAS Providers Component The DAS Providers Component is a component that you can add to a record view layout. The component lists the DAS providers that you configure for the record that is opened in the record view. You can use the DAS Providers Component to request a DAS provider for data. You can search for records, compare the results and select the record that you want to convert and merge into the business entity record. Create the DAS Providers component in the component editor of the provisioning tool. After you create the component, the component appears in the layout designer. Use the layout designer to create a record view layout and add the component to the layout. This is the screenshot of a sample DAS Provider component configuration. Reference To integrate data as a service with Informatica MDM, please review the provisioning tool guide. You can find the tool guide in the mentioned link. Demo For this demo, I will be using the DNB mock SOAP service provided in the resource kit. KB on how to integrate MDM with the mock DNB service will be available in Informatica KB portal. Before configuring, let us understand how DAS service works in UI, which will help us to know what are all the components involved in this. Let us go to E360 UI and try to create a new organization record. We can see the list of DAS providers here at the right side of the layout. Until the required field is populated, which is the display name, this DNP mock service will not be available to use. Once we provide the value to the display name, we can now see the DAS provider is now ready to use. When we click on it, we can see the Get Matches button is enabled. On pressing this button, the display name will be sent to the DAS provider through the Search SOAP operation to get the available matches. We can now see the available matches sent by the DAS provider. In this case, it is two sample response records since this is a mock service. We can compare the input and the output value in the screen and choose the right data and click on import. This will perform read operation which will get the data from DAS providers and import into the business entity. From this we can understand we have two operations search and read. So, we will be reviewing the two Vistal components, two SOAP services, two DAS providers, each for search and read operations, which were already created for the DNB mock service by me earlier. We will also be reviewing the BE to XML and XML to BE transformation, DAS provider component, and add it to the organization layout to be available for the users to use. The sequence in which we need to create is uh, the Vistal component, SOAP service, transformations, B to XML and XML to B, DAS providers, DAS provider component. All these configurations will be created from the provisioning tool. We have to go to the provisioning tool and choose business entity, extensions, and here we have to choose Vistal. We have to provide a name for the Vistal component and the Vistal URL provided by the DAS team. Once we provide the Vistal URL, all the services, the sample request and response field in this component will be loaded here. We have two Vistal components, one for search and one for read operation. 
Next to create a SOAP service, we have to go to business entities, extensions, and in this, we have to choose SOAP service. In this SOAP service, we have to choose the Vistel service which we are going to use in the SOAP service. In this SOAP service, we have to specify which Vistel component we are utilizing here. The namespace will be available in the Vistel XML namespace. The service and port will be loaded from the Vistel file can be chosen from the available service and port from the provided Vistel file. The endpoint is the DAS provider request and response endpoint URL provided by the DAS team. Next to create transformations, we have to go to business entities, transformations. We will be creating two BE to XML transformation. One is to send the display name to the DAS provider to get matches. And the other is to send the identified matches to the DAS provider and to get the detailed data for it. Similarly, we will be creating two XML to BE transformation. One is to display the matches and the other to import the detailed requested record from the DAS provider. We have to map the input and output fields correctly based on the sample response file collected from the DAS provider. Next to create DAS providers, we have to go to business entities, extensions, and we have to choose DAS providers. We have created two DAS providers, one for search and one for read. For the search type DAS provider, we have to mention the required field here. It is not mandatory to mark a required field for a read DAS provider. We need to point out the XML to BE and BE to XML transformations created for the search and read calls. We have to mention the created SOAP service for search and read call. The SOAP operation is taken from the Vistel, which is displayed based on the SOAP service selected. The business entity chosen here is the target entity which get enriched data from the DAS provider. We have to mention the source system to point from where the data is coming to the MDM. Next to create a DAS provider component, we have to choose configuration, component editor, DAS providers. Create a DAS provider component and mention the search and read DAS providers here. In display fields, we can choose what are all the fields displayed in the match screen. To add this DAS provider to an organization layout, go to Configuration Layout Designer. You can choose a template which has a segment and you can drag and drop the custom DAS provider component to add it to the organization layout. Once done, publish all these changes in provisioning tool and validate the URLs. Now, users can see the DAS service from E360 UI. We would love to hear from you. You can provide your feedback to us through support videos at informatica.com. You can also connect to us through InfoSupport Twitter account. Thank you.